welcome back to another class of physics and this is for class 8 and uh, we've been studying heat transfer the chapter which is chapter uh, chapter 6 and uh, in the last class we discussed about linear expansion, superficial expansion and cubical expansion and their uh, factors which affect them and the uh, and um, what are linear coefficients, all their coefficients, the linear coefficients, superficial coefficients, and cubical coefficient. So today we will be learning about some of the applications of thermal expansion of solids in our day-to-day life. Okay, so we might have seen the concept of this expansion, the concept of expansion of solids, either in length, volume, or area. We've seen it in our day-to-day life and it's been used. Okay, so we'll be discussing some of the application today. So the first application, I have already drawn this because it would have taken me some time to do this over here on the board while taking the class as well. So I have drawn, I have taken four different uh, uh, applications here. The first one here is construction of bridges. Okay, so you might have seen or not, I don't know if you have observed it or not, but those bridges, those are made of steel, okay, they have rollers at the end. They have small rollers, if they are very small rollers at the end. And why do they place the rollers over here? Okay, why do they place the rollers? Because, you know, steel is a solid. And what happens during summer, during summer, there will be rising temperature, means heat will be, a lot of heat will be there, isn't it? The steel will get heated. So, when it gets heated, what does it do? It expands. Okay, the bridge will try to expand. The steel will try to expand. So when it expands, and if there are no roller bridges, so they will expand. But during winter, they will not contract, and then the bridge will be deteriorated. Okay, so in order to avoid that, in order the the bridge to be still and functioning properly, they are placed with rollers at the end. So what do the rollers do? Is this rollers help them in expansion during summer and help them in contraction during winter. So when they expand, these rollers expand along with them because of the rollers they slide easily. This part is fixed. One part would be fixed. The other part would be fixed with rollers. Okay, would be connected with rollers. So when the during the summer, when there is a lot of heat, what will happen? Is bridge will try to expand. When it tries to expand, these rollers help them in expanding properly, easily. Okay. And during winter, when there is loss of heat, what happens? Temperature falls and when there is loss of heat, there is contraction. So the bridge will try to contract and these rollers will help them to contract, keeping the bridge intact. Okay. Without damaging the bridge. Okay. So this is the concept of construction of bridges. So bridges, they have big bridges, they always have mines, they wear very small rollers, okay? The second one is railway tracks. Now, I'm sure you all have seen this in your day-to-day -day life, everyone has travels in railways, isn't it? So, the railway track, the railway tracks, they do have the metals which are there in the railway tracks. They have small gaps. Okay, they have small gaps left in between. Now, why do they leave these gaps? Because during summer, when there is a lot of heat, this metal, they tend to expand. Okay, so when they expand, this space allows them to expand properly. If there is no space left, what will happen? This metal, they will be... Uh, the railway track will be deteriorated. Okay, the met the met the metal will have no room for expansion, so the railway track will be deviated from its path. That's why the railway tracks they have small gaps in between. The gaps allow them to expand, allow the metals to expand. Okay, during summer. Another one is gravity. Now, what is gravity? Uh, you might have seen two steel plates joining together. Okay, this is what gravity would be. Okay, 
Now see here. First the metals are heated and then this 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 one is called rivet. So when you place the two metals together, if you want to place the two metals together, they are made a hole and this rivet is inserted between them. Then you start heating the rivet. When the rivet is very hot, okay, when the rivet is very hot, it will look like this. Okay. And this is when you when you continuously beat them. When you continuously beat them, they get heated. So when they heat, when they become very red hot, this is the one they look like. And they are left to cool after some time. Okay, after heating them, after heating them, after making them very hot, okay, they are left to cool. And when they are left to cool, the they, the rivet they contract and the metal join together. Okay, this is how this is what riveting is. Okay, um, so this is what uh, when we do those two uh, steels when we uh, when we want to link them together. So this is how it is done. Okay, this is your this is called riveting. You have two different steel. Okay, you take two steel plates. And then make hole and then put a rabbit here. And then you start heating it. When you heat it, it becomes very soft and it becomes more easier for to heat it. And then it becomes once it becomes very hot, then you let it cool. And when you let it cool, they contract and the two metals come together or join together. Uh, like the boiler plate, you might have seen those boiler plates. Okay, this is how the boiler plate would be made. By the process of riveting. Okay. Now another one is electric cables and telephone wires. So generally we don't see telephone wires a lot these days because of the cell phones. But uh, we do have towers, and uh, you might have seen uh, electric ca the cables also, isn't it? So during summer, what happens is the wire they tend to sag. That means why do they sag? Because of expansion. They expand. Okay, during summer the wires they expand, and that's why they sag. Okay, they are let loose. When you when you, you might have seen those, uh, just see outside also. If you see those cables, wires around your home, you'll not see they are not uh, tight or they are not fixed very tightly. Okay, they are let loose. And why are they let loose? Is because during summer they expand. And they sag, but during winter they contract. During winter, because of the loss of heat, they contract. And because they contract, if you place the wire tight in the beginning itself, because of the contraction, what the chances of breaking of the wire is more. That's why the wires are let loose. Okay, the wires are let loose like this because during winter. That is when there is no heat, when there is very less heat or loss of heat. What happens? These wires they tend to contract, okay. And when they contract, they become tight. So you can observe it during summer and during winter. The wires would be during summer the wires would be sag, and during winter they will not be as sag as during summers, okay. So. Um, We'll continue more in the next class. So we've learned about this four today. One is construction of bridge. The other one is railway gap. The other one is riveting and electric cables. And the basic concept for all this all these applications are so our expansion of solids. So solids expand when get when heated, and solids contract when cooled. Okay. So the, on the base on the concept of expansion and contraction. This concept, this uh, construction of bridge, railway gas, riveting, electric cables are um, considered. Okay, so we'll continue more in the next class. Till then, have a good day and uh, have a good time. Thank you.